Okay, so here we are taking a look at the Hacker News homepage, and we're going to try to rebuild this using a tool called Rendition. Rendition writes code based on text prompts, and in particular, Rendition specializes in building UI components using Tailwind. And so it's kind of perfect for an application like this. Let's test it out, see how it goes. So to build this site, uh, we're just going to build the home page. is really going to involve four components. We've got our top bar here, our body within which we have a listing, call it a card or a component. And then at the bottom, we have our footer. Now the footer is pretty much as simple as everything else. Divider line, row of links, alternating gray and black text between link and divider, and then a search bar. So let's get to it. Uh, we're going to take this component by component. We will start with our top bar. So let's get to it. So left, logo title nav links, and right, login. Link. Gold orange background, black text. Anything else we need? We'll give it the content as well. All right, so just send off that request. Again, it's just a text prompt, and then Rendition is going to take this, interpret it, and write code based on it. In particular, it's going to build us a nice UI component. So you can see the results start to stream in here. Hacker News. So I got this pretty much right. The Hacker News font. It's funny, it, it doesn't look like Halloween on the Hacker News website, but whenever I recreate it, it feels kind of like Halloween. Okay, I like this one a little bit better. The reason I like it a little bit better is the alignment. These are centered. We can easily change that with just a single CSS property. So, actually, you know, after changing it, so I like this one a little bit better. Headers a little, the title is a little bit bolder. Yeah, this is good. So we can work with this. Uh, we can ask. Um, I think work on mobile as well. Let me bring this up. Just hide the links. Okay. So while that's going, let's go ahead and work on our footer section. So same thing. We'll copy kind of the content that we can give it, and then we'll describe the component we want to make. Uh, do we need to say anything about color here? Black, gray, search, text. Should also be gray. Let's see what happens. And let's see what we got. Beautiful. That's nice. Here's our footer streaming in. See, I like that it's gotten, it followed our instruction on the alternating gray and black here. Can't do everything, but for simple stuff like this, as long as we define it well, it does a pretty good job. This should be centered vertically. This is pretty good. That's cute. The orange. I'm not sure I like that, but it is cute. Okay, that's pretty good as well. I like the links here a little bit better. The hover, it's a very... I'm not sure if it even has one. If it does, it's very subtle. I think it does. Yeah, it's very subtle. Eh, maybe it doesn't. Okay, so let's see if we can vertically center... Perfect. I love it when it's a single line CSS change. It's not always that way. And let's get rid of this. It's silly. There we go. That's more normal. We got rid of that orange color. Okay. Header done. Footer done as well. Now let's make our uh, listing. Post title clickable, clickable black text, listing number clickable, both gray. Clickable black text, as well as the source link in parentheses, clickable gray. Second row is a list of links with separator where indicated, all gray. Content for second row. 
So we'll just copy an example here. For the first row. Cool. Let's see what happens. Now this is definitely the more complicated element. There's a couple things going on. We have uh, multiple links here at the bottom. So we'll see what happens. Did an okay job, but this should be uh, next to, horizontally next to this. But otherwise, it's actually pretty much what I would hope for. This text should be a little bit larger. But both of these did about the same. Did about the same. We'll see if we can edit this manually to get that. There we go. Gap one. And then let's do items start. Okay. See, that's the full width. That's the full height. So H. Uh, what do we want to say there? Looks like H6 will do it for us. Okay, now let's play, let's make this title a little bit larger. Text. There we go. Cool. All right, so there is our post. Nice little hover on our triangle. We can switch that out. But if we compare it, it's actually pretty accurate. The difference between the large text and the small text could even be a little bit larger. This, I think, is text small. This is kind of extra small. So there's um, three different font sizes even within this small uh, component. Is that better? I think that is better. Um, we can do a little bit less space between these. There we go. Nice. All right. Happy with that as well. So let's put it all together. To do this, I'm going to kind of edit the code manually. Um, soon we'll be able to pull components from different generations, but for now we got to handle that on our own. We'll just copy out the components. Paste this in, remove, export default from this one, call it footer. Let's extract this one to a new function in header. And then we just render these. Return, return, return. Okay, that should be good. Let's see what happens when we save. Unexpected token header. Return. Oh yeah, we should probably wrap it in a div, huh? There we go. Okay. Lovely. Save that, and then I will come in, and now we're gonna, um, you know, let's ask something here. Extract props to a reusable component and add a couple more example posts in a um, in a parent list. Cool. While that's working, let's go ahead and get it ready. So function body. And then right now we'll just turn, return an empty div. All right, so now we got a couple of examples here. So all I did on this one, again, was I asked it to extract props into a reusable component, because previously everything's hard-coded here. You can see our uh, post title, link, etc. It's all hard-coded within the uh, UI, within the JSX. And now it's split out. We have our data separate, index, title, source, et cetera, et cetera. And we have a parent component that's rendering this. So just copy both of, the, both of these and bring it into our main component. And then move this to be our body. And we should be about done. Look at that. Okay, there we go. We've got uh, something that looks quite a bit like our Hacker News page. Uh, two differences that we'll fix up here at the end just because I'm a little bit of a stickler. Um, let's add a max width. There's, look how sharp these corners are. Um, 
add a max width and this background color. So let's figure out what that background color is. See it's 828282. Um, is that right? I think it's actually the other one. I think it's F6, F6, EF. We can see there at the bottom. There we go. And we'll do the same background for our footer. Love it. I'm going to add a little, just a little padding at the top here. Not there. Here. No. Here. No. Here. Cool. And a max width. Okay, and now we have something that looks conspicuously similar to our Hacker News site. If I was designing this, I might choose a different background color. Uh, our orange is slightly different um, than this orange. We can always update that. But generally speaking, it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. So we used a tool called Rendition for this. Uh, Rendition is an AI tool that writes code based on text input. Rendition can also create designs in Figma and turn those designs into code. But for this example, we focused purely on our Rendition Create from text, it'll it'll write these nice tailwind components for us. So to use this, I can just click the copy button however I like, and I'll be on my way to um, rebuilding Hacker News. We can next do various other pages, routing, all the other fun front end stuff that would turn this into a functional application, make things links, do stuff. But for 20 minutes, not a bad result. Thanks for watching. And uh, the link to use rendition is in the description for this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to us on Discord or by email. Thanks again.